Good morning, friends. Happy Monday morning. Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here with a little Monday morning motivation. Um, a good word to get your week started off right. Um, it's a timely word today because it's cold outside. So coming at you from my bedroom, as you can see, I'm under the covers. It's chilly in North Alabama. So, uh, and we're reading out of my little book, Life is Better at the Beach, that was gifted to me, and it's just full of wonderful devotions. And even though it's chilly, um, we're gonna we're gonna push through and read it. It's uh, such good little nuggets, just talking about. Um, of course, it kind of ties it all into the beach, but just talking about centering yourself in the world around you. Um, finding a little bit of quiet in the crazy and uh, tuning in to God through his beautiful creation and so I really love this little book so I'm gonna read today's devotion to you and I just pray it blesses your heart and encourages you um, let me make sure I'm on the right page first because it is Monday right okay it's easy to go outside at the beach true the temperatures are pleasant, the flowers are sunning their faces, and a gentle breeze ruffles tree leaves. Warm, humid air fills your lungs, and it seems almost crazy to stay inside. Why waste the beautiful weather? But when the temperature drops, like it is today, <laughs> going outside seems like the last thing you want to do. Even the bare limb trees are shaking in the wind, and the comfort of your heated home far outweighs the allure of snow-covered sidewalks. Even so, it's been said that there's no bad weather, only bad clothing. Think back to your time at the beach when you didn't need any prompting to go outdoors. Remember how alive you felt after a day spent strolling along the shore. Being outside rejuvenates and invigorates, and the same can be true even on the dreariest of days. You may need layers, you may need a down coat, you may need rain boots, or even wool socks. An umbrella, knit hat, or hand warmers might be a necessity, but once you walk out the front door and your blood starts pumping and your lungs fill with fresh air, you'll remember why it's so good to go outside. And there's a quote, there's generally a quote, but this one is just wonderful. It's by George Washington Carver. And it says, I love to think of nature as an unlimited broadcasting station through which God speaks to us every hour of every day if we only tune in. So uh, I hope this encourages you to just spend even five minutes outside today breathing in some sunshine some fresh air and just tuning in to what god would speak to you and uh there's the quote and the little picture of the beach um so anyway i again just pray this encourages your heart and blesses you today happy monday y'all